Hello everyone, I'm the Crimson Archer and welcome to RimWorld Beta 18. Yes, Tynion has decided that we have progressed far enough now in the development of this game that we are now in beta, so no more alphas. So it's beta 18, and uh, there's a ton of new stuff. I think we'll mostly just get to it as we move through it. Didn't mean to rhyme there, but it works okay. Alright, crash landed. Uh, intense Cassandra. Just generate a world. So there's a new biome called Swamplands. There's like at different temperature levels, which we'll have to play with because it's the first time playing Alpha 18, so you gotta play with the new biome, right? It's required, I think. Alright, and you may notice that there are now, uh, Southwestern Human Ocean. That's pretty funny. Randomized, um, area names. So I think this is Temperate Swamp. Yep, this is what I want. Although, is there a better one that's not so close to a bunch of bad guys? Not that I guess it really matters that much. I'm not convinced that the bad guys actually come from places. Alright, well, this is a settlement here, right? Yeah. I do like to be near roads, though. There's a tiny little temperate swamp right there. Oh, here's one. I'll just set up shop here. This is fine. Small hills, 30 day growing period. Um, I do like to get a bigger map though, so we're gonna go with that. And next. Alright, so this is different too. I don't really actually know what this left behind thing here is. I think these are the people that maybe come from, down from your uh, escape pods that happen occasionally. But this team skills thing is a great thing that they've included where it shows you what your composition is. So this person's a proselyte and a slowpoke. Very good at art. Good shot. Can't do a lot of stuff though. I like to keep my incapable ofs basically empty for my first group. Kind, careful shooter, fast learner. I like all those. This person would be a good researcher and a decent artist. Alright. Croc, you're on the team. Steadfast, psychically hypersensitive, ascetic. Good construction. Good growing. I might keep this person. It's kind of a weird... Can't do dumb labor, though. So we'll come back to this person in a second. No pyromaniacs. Pretty fat. Another fast learner. A lot of fast learners here. Mining, growing. I think I have to... This person is oldish, but... Just a stab scar. Excited about a lot of things. I wish that passion was on, like, one of these other things instead, but it's pretty good. Alright, so let's look at this person. I don't think we can take this person. No dumb labor is kind of, kind of annoying. Kind of really annoying. Hard worker, possible greedy, old. Old's probably going to get an injury relatively quickly. Damn good skills, though. A very old colony if we take these three. I think I might do it anyways. So we cover most of the basics pretty solidly. So I think we're gonna take that. So I think I'm actually just gonna leave these people. Well, you're actually not very good. Let's, re let's randomize you a little bit. I'm just working the assumption that these are the, the people that I think they are, but I don't actually know that for a fact. Optimist, jealous, incapable of social. Bloodlust, optimist, neurotic, random skills, whatever. This is fine. We'll go with this. I want to get in. I want to get in and start playing. <laughs> and we'll find out soon enough if these are the people that get delivered to us from space. All right. So the nature of the beast, what do we get animal-wise? Droopy. Arctic fox. They can haul, so that's all I, that's all I cared about. Um, so the nature of the beast when it comes to this biome is the massive amount of vegetation and the fact that there are certain areas you can't build on, just because there's a lot of mud around. Um, 
looking for geothermal vents. There's one right there. I think we'll probably just settle pretty much in place. We can kind of box this area in, not in a great fashion, but like we can build across this way here. This is mud, so we'd have to build around that if we want to go around it. Or maybe we could go like this, across here. I don't know. Well, we're going to settle in place because it's just easier. No, well, I suppose we should at least look at the rest of the map, huh? This is probably ancient danger. It's a muffalo herd. That's nice. Yep, I think this. I think that's the right place. Pretty much in place is the right answer, I believe. Hey, the revol revolver. That's a new gun. All right, so who is my best shooter? Probably you. Yes. Croc gets this. Smith gets this. And you get the knife, wherever the knife is. There it is. Alright, so we're going to set up shop more or less right here in the middle. Um, let's put our first stockpile zone right here. I always just do these, I like to do these sort of open air stockpile zones, just cover them with roofs, especially early on, because it makes it easier for people to get in and out of. Everybody hauls right now. Smith is our person. Let's get these set. Bed rest, flicking. I guess you're our warden. You'll be our handler and our cook. Grower. Yeah, that'll work for the moment. Alright, speed things up. Alright, that's built, so give me a span build roof region. Like so. Also need to set a chop wood thing here because we're gonna have a lot of trees to get knocked down for us to actually build a proper f living facility. <clears throat> All right, so I've gotten really a big, become a really big fan of building these 13 by 13 structures recently. I'm just gonna build one first. This is gonna be like our. Housing, not this will be temporary housing, but it's not gonna be the permanent housing, so just make it one giant room. Alright, what other f stuff do we have on the map here? I thought I saw when I was looking around, I thought I saw some food over here. Am I wrong? Yep, yeah, there it is. Just four survival meals, not much. It's something. Hopefully they can nope, they can't. I was say hopefully they can get this built before nighttime, but not so much. You guys will sleep here tonight. Sign training for the Fox. Not that it's super important right now, but something that we need to think about for the future. Also, I like to do my. Yes, I know I don't have research, so misclick. I like to just kind of let them do whatever they want for the most part, just as long as they get some sleep. So it's always nice to have a night owl so that. Work goes on 24 hours a day instead of having these down periods in the middle of the night. This is, I think, going to be our, like, food and place to work kind of workshop area, I think. And then we'll build a another one that'll be the housing.
I'm excited to see this combat thing once we once it becomes available. Oh, we gotta get attacked first. Should probably start getting some food in the ground pretty much right away as well. Alright, let me look at the fertility speed. There's some rich soil up here. It's kinda hard to see underneath that other stuff. Rich soil over here? Yes, there's some rich soil over here. Alright, let's put a couple of growing zones over here. Whoops. Oh, let me actually let them plant that one first. I can't really see very well with all the plants in the way. Cloud watching, really. I'm going back to work. I'd like for you guys to actually sleep inside this evening, if possible. Planting starting. Alright. Almost there. S movement is so slow with all these trees around. Definitely gonna have to put flooring down in places where I don't usually put flooring down. Alright, you done? Is this in considered indoors? Yes. Alright. You guys are going to sleep in here tonight. Uh, delete. There's an animal sleep spot in there too. And since this stockpile zone got shrunk a little bit, we'll expand it. Alright, so that's where this one is. So let's do this. This is going to be about rice. Actually, this is rich soil. Let's do corn there. Rice isn't very sensitive to, to fertility bonuses. So. Some har raspberry bushes in there. First one of those is done. A dumping stockpile zone right there. I get these rocks out of the way. These I actually don't really care about right now. Where are these? I suppose we should just go ahead and floor this immediately just to deal with all this stuff that's in here. What is that? Why is this not... Marshy soil? Ah, oh, crap. So there's gonna be a little spot in here that we can't actually make um, pleasant. Just too bad. In the in the farther future, we'll get the um, the thing that can the moisture removal tech, and we can clear out this area here. But that's too bad. I guess it's the kind of the nature of the beast when you can't really see what you're working with here. I'm saying nature of the beast a lot today. I'm not sure where that came from. Alright, so we should think about some power as well. We've got some visitors coming by. Nothing has changed about this, right? This is still the same? Yes, this appears to be the same. Alright, so we're going to point a wind turbine out over the fields, because those won't get any stuff grown on them. We'll put that there. Is 
There's a lot of, lot of plant clearing that has to get done right now. Latter half of Alpha 17, I was playing a lot of modded stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to remember what what is mod, mod capable and what's not. <laughs> Let's start. I also would like to get the base sort of walled off a little bit. Really, one little bit of marshy soil there. Um, we'll call this Archer's Swamp. Uh... Well, the faction will be called the Cromulent Core. Cromulent Core. And this will be Archer's Swamp. Swamp. That's a weird noise. This is mar like one tiny little thing of, our, of marshy soil there. I can't make it all the way around. There we go. Let's get rid of this monster. <laughs> this thing here. Oh, marshy soil. trying to reduce the angles that we can get attacked from in the future. Apparently I shouldn't have done this before they were done flooring because I never really understand the the rankings of what it considers to be high priority and what it considers not to be high priority. Apparently walls are higher priority than floor. I guess that makes some sense. Local raccoons gone crazy. It's coming for us. There's some steel over here. Hang on. Mila, you're the one with the knife, right? Yeah. Just stab it to death when it gets here. Really? Death in 21 hours? Oh, that's the raccoon. I thought, I thought Mila had gotten stabbed and was hurt badly enough to... Uh, be in danger of dying. That would have been pretty rough. Here, no, wait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so many trees. <laughs> this definitely pre presents interesting uh, challenges. To have non stop trees to deal with. Yes, yeah, so we have a patch of marshy soil inside of our, our workshop, which is, you know, not exactly what you want. It's summer. I'm looking at the, the stuff below us here. Alright, since we might as well get this going here. I like to do three. Thirteen. Twelve. And this one goes crossways like that. Door there. There we go. Is anybody else even halfway good at construction? Mila is, and the planting is mostly done, so let's put you on that to get some of this stuff built as fast as possible. 18 out of 20, 17 out of 20. Should probably put another door down here as well. Right there. 
Actually, you know what would be a better idea? Since we can't use the- we don't want- wouldn't be using the space in front of the door anyways. Put it in front of one of the marshy soil spots so that we- Although that off-centeredness is gonna kill me, so no, never mind. Power when we get it. So many trees. Kind of makes me want to just burn the place down. <laughs> just, just to clear space. But that seems like a short-sighted reaction that I shouldn't do. Some thrombos are coming by. Hello, thrombo. You want to eat some of these trees and clear the space out? This thing eat, eat full-size trees, so... Right, they're almost done with this room, at least. Did I extend the floors? I'm not sure I extended them into the doorways. I did not. trees out of the stockpile zone. Maybe one day they'll decide they want to do this over here. Giving them too many jobs. Should have a raid coming soon. Actually happens about now. Alright. I'm really annoyed by this whole thing here. Cut this grass down. Not sure if it'll stay cut down, but might make the place look a little bit nicer if it does. A chunk of spacecraft is landing nearby. It's now accompanied with a crashing noise, which is interesting. There's a piece up here too, is it? That's full, full. Steel and components, all right. Make sure they weren't gonna trick me on something here. Come over here and eat the trees out of my yard. <laughs> all right. Build me some beds, please. Hopefully we can have places for people to sleep soon. Refugee is chased. She is 26 years old. I almost always have terrible luck with these refugee situations. But it's early enough that I think we can pull it off. So let's go ahead and do it. How terrible of a character are you? Ugly, depressive, incapable of dumb labor and terrible skills. Well, this... This continues my, uh... Philosophy of never doing this again. Ooh, it was a new raid noise. Oh, is it just one person? Well, that makes that easier. Oh, man. No, that's... That's two raids. Unrelated to each other. They both appear to only be one person, though, so we're probably fine. Go. Hey, good shot. Ow, you're a really good shot. Fall back. You come here. Where's the other one? Still coming.
Use the doorways. We'll cover. As soon as we're through this, we can look at the uh, the new raid stuff too, or the new combat stuff. All right, that guy's down. Here comes Clay. Cray, excuse me. You know what, Ponce? Come grab this guy's revolver. Let's get you a. Uh, let's get you in the fighting mood. Really? I just built that. You're gonna break it? There we go. Alright. Alright, so combat. We have this new combat tab. Which tells you about uh, stuff that's happened. So in that thing, Kiko hit Mila with a revolver. Intended for Smith. Interesting. Oh, and this is the raccoon fight from earlier. And so Ponce... Shot the revolver. Precisely hit. Bullet... Karomed? Off his cover? I don't know that word. Attempted to poke. Swing went wide. Smash Gray with the revolver's barrel, but missed. Jab from the high- yeah, so, you know, stuff. Alright, let's look at these two guys. Green Thumb, too smart, staggeringly ugly. Good skills, though. Fast walk versus slothful, really nothing good. So we can try and get Clay? Music just stopped for some reason. Very dramatically, very uh, abruptly. Alright, let's just put this down here. And at least look at Cray. And we'll see how this goes. I don't expect to get them to, to make them part of the team, but this person needs to be stripped actually before anything else. Croc. Before those clothes become dead people clothes. Thank you. Which apparently he was only wearing a a jacket. Alright, Cray. Ninety three percent difficulty level. That is probably... you lost your arm. Yep, we're not gonna bother with you. I'm just gonna release you. How's everybody else doing? No immediate danger. Death in 15 hours. Can you actually focus on our people that are actually part of our team first? If he dies, I don't really care that much. needs bed. Yep, that's right. That is a true statement. Ponce does need bed. Alright, Ponce. You're not very good, but let's give you assignments. Firefighting, patient, doctoring, not doctoring. Bed rest. Flicking. Seven. Why does this have a red th thing around it? Well, you'll definitely be our cook when the time comes, because you're not that good at anything else! Everybody treated here. Prefer not to get any, uh... Things, any, uh, infections if possible. Alright, well this is a good start, I think. Uh, we had our first fight, we got to look at a couple of the new things. How'd you do in combat, Cray? Or Croc? A gunshot wound causes Cray to faint. I like this, this is neat. This is like from Dwarf Fortress where they give you combat logs of what's happening. Uh, but yeah, so this is the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, con consider clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. And consider subscribing if you want to see more of my RimWorld play in the future. Or anything else I have on my channel. And I am, as always, the Criminal Archer, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.